Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. We are here in Georgia. I'm currently staying with my mom right now and then tonight I'm gonna be able to see Ryan and we're going to get dinner with our friends and then I'm gonna go over to Alpharetta and stay at my dad's house for a couple days. And this vlog is gonna be so, so fun. We have some the volley parties and just like exploring my hometown because I feel like I haven't been able to do that in a while. And obviously it is fall time. And honestly, in my opinion, I feel like that's the best time in Georgia. The leaves are starting to change. And so I'm gonna show you guys all of the fall things we do, but we're starting off the vlog, getting my nails done. I just decided to like push it till I'm home because I have so much time now that I'm home and I also feel like it might be cheaper in Georgia than Austin. These are my nails right now. I really honestly want to get French tips again because last time my nails weren't long enough to do like the full almond shape and almond French nails are so classic. They're so gorgeous and to the person who is going to tell me to get my nails done before the big day. I want that. I want my nails to be almond shape, French tip. So please keep that in mind because I think that will just look gorgeous in the ring shots. Not that that's happening anytime soon, but just putting that out there. I think today we're probably going to go for like just a normal pale pink because um, I did want to get the French tips done again, but we'll just, we'll just do that next time because I feel like I need to switch it up. just got here and she showed up with a tote bag with my sister's baby picture on it <laughs> lovely I told her I'm gonna send her merch with my face all over it so I can <laughs> be her favorite sometimes I will, I will use uh-huh just got her nails done I got a little pink she got a little natural we just got finished up at the nail salon and now it is time to get some Indian food in our systems even though we had it yesterday but this is different. We're going to Zyka and I feel like I always come here whenever I go home. There's actually one closer to my dad now in Alpharetta um, but I'm going to get some chicken 65 and a mango lassi and I'm so excited. We got the goods and I can't wait to eat it. It smells so good. I may go less it's in there somewhere. We got some Pollock paneer, which is spinach and cheese pretty much. And then I feel like I say this every time I come home, but this is the most beautiful and delicious chicken 65 there ever is. And it's from Zyka's and look at how like, honestly, it's really just beautiful. And then we got a mango lassi. We have a straw. Shoot. Oh well. Um, mango lassi. I'm gonna have to take my lactate pills, so gotta get those out. On one of my recent vlogs, someone asked me if I've ever made real Indian chai before, and I personally have not on my own, but my mom always makes it. I feel like whenever we're at like family friends' houses, that's like what we drink after like, I don't know, hanging out, right? <laughs> A big meal. A big meal, yeah. Or in the um, afternoon for a pick-me-up. Yeah. Um, so, she does make it for me, though, when I come home. So I thought we would show you guys how she makes it, because I also honestly need to learn myself. And now I will have this video to always look back on. My mom made us a visual because, like I said, I'm learning too. So we have black pepper, fennel seed, clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, there was supposed to be a ginger, but she doesn't have a ginger, so ginger powder, and then cardamom. But she actually has these ingredients in a powder form, so that's what we're going to use. Okay, I'm starting with two cups of water. We could use all those spices, but I simplified it. I bought a tea masala powder mix. So and what does so, that have in it? Well, I don't recall what this particular one has in it, but it's possibly all of those things that you all mentioned. Of them? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The cardamom, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, the uh samph or the fennel seed, mm -hmm. black pepper, cloves, and ginger. It could be, but I don't I don't know now. So we've got this. And then I like a little bit extra of cardamom. So I will add, you know, a few seeds of cardamom. We pound it 
to get those, get it open. In addition to the tea masala and the cardamom, I add a little bit of extra ginger powder or fresh ginger if you have it. And after these um, spices are boiling for a bit, I'm going to add two uh, spoons of very concentrated chai black tea. Black tea, yeah. Well, at this point, I would add milk but I stopped having milk in the house, so I'm just gonna add creamer after I turn off this stove. But you can pretty much make your own concentrate like this and keep it in the fridge for yes. like a week and then add milk when you want it, right? Yeah, yes. I have the boiled tea with chai masala and That different... wasn't very long at all, right? Yeah, it wasn't long. And now I'm going to strain it into a cup. And now we're gonna add some oat milk. Do you want maple syrup or honey to sweeten it? I guess maple syrup because my mother refuses to buy fucking sugar apparently. <laughs> <laughs> syrup, but we're, you can add any sweetener, sugar, stevia, honey. Okay, taste test. How's it? Yum. Is it like Taza? Um, yeah, but I think we need to sweeten it and probably more like milk. And okay. <laughs> we need to add some stuff. We need to make it the way I like it. Um, <laughs> so we just need to add a little bit more sweetener and a little bit more milk. I like it really milky. Just like my coffee. If I ever drink coffee, it's like this much milk, this much coffee. It's Wait. Oh. Damn, I feel like this is so much caffeine, Mommy. Am I going to be bouncing off the walls? I don't know. You have to stay up tonight, right? Yeah, I do, actually. That's probably just smart. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if this helped. Mm. Better? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Is it as good as the Tazo, or...? This is more flavorful, I think. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. But, I mean, it's good in its own way, you know? Do you use oat milk mm. at home? Mm-hmm. You do? And also, I do, I make mine iced. Oh. So, I really like to drink it hot. Okay. So, maybe that's why it's, like, mm. different. Mm -hmm. And you use sugar. What do you use to sweeten it with? It's already sweet. The concentration. Oh, yeah. that's, if you add more sugar, anything's going to taste better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, that's how you make chai. Let me know if you guys ah. try it. Oh, I know. I was going <laughs> to... I need to go to the Indian store when I go home because I, I was going to eat some mango pickle mm -hmm. and I saw that it was expired. Mm. So I couldn't even eat it when I was at home. Cheers. Hello, guys. I got global entry because I'm a global citizen. Just kidding. But basically what happened was on my way back from Colombia in customs, I got there early enough and they're like, oh, yeah, oh if you still have time, like you're the last person. And people are waiting years for this. I signed up two years ago. Damn. So, Yay. and I got it, and it's here, and Wahoo. you can't see it. Um. Anyways, hi. I went to work early, and this is the time that I could come back. You woke me up at like 5:30 a.m. and said. I bye. just want to say bye. I know. Thank you, but that was really freaking early. Cause I really like. What is it? 5:30 a.m. How early was it that yeah. you said? It was not. It was literally no. like 6.30. Oh, it felt like so <laughs> Anyways, um, These are all my sister's paintings because my mom, again, favors her. Oh, she walked into the nail salon with your fucking toe, with your fucking face on it. <laughs> the baby one? Yeah, yeah, please let me know why, how, and why. Did everyone ask if you have a baby? <laughs> no, no, I don't think anyone knows. Did you go to the place that I recommended? Yes. Did you like it? Yes. Good. I can't really... Nisha. Good stuff. Zoom Nisha. In on it. The difference between Goodness. sisters. The difference. <laughs> um, okay. I just got waxed. So I'm gonna go shower because it feels really okay, have weird fun. all over. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> You miss me? I'm you like my outfit? Yeah. I know I'm finally wearing black. Are you proud of me? <laughs> <laughs>
We are going to Cam and Abby's house. Um, and then we're gonna go to dinner at this place called, where'd you make the reservation? Bastille. Bastone. Oh, you know, so. Well, I wanted you to this? say it, silly. I don't know. What's I guess we probably park on the street and then go to the, all oh, these houses are cute. I love a little ranch, ranch house. Yeah, They're so cute. Your haircut awesome. looks cute. Show the haircut. Tell them that how long yeah. you were in the seat for. Hour and 30 minutes. And that's the longest haircut you got? Easily. That far the longest ever. But it looks really, really good. Nice Show the fade. And the other side. And tell your car to shut up. <laughs> it's a video. Yay. <laughs> Good morning, it is Saturday, and today we're actually going to the first of the two Diwali parties. Um, I think the second one is more American clothes, but this night we're gonna dress up in our Indian outfits. I'm so, so freaking excited. I got a Langa from the Sari room, so I haven't tried it on just yet. I should probably do that, honestly, before I head out. Um, but I got a little cozy fall outfit on. Me and Ryan are just gonna have like a cute little date day. I wanna go down to like historic Roswell, Canton Street, see all the leaves because I didn't really get to see Roswell in the day. Um, I got to my dad's house late last night, so I didn't really get to see like everything like all lit up in the daytime. So that was kind of sad, but today we'll do some exploring and I want to go to historic Roswell. I also feel so dumb because I bought jewelry like literally so late last night for my outfit tonight, but I shipped it to my house or apartment in Austin. So I feel so dumb. So now I don't have any jewelry and um, I might go to Francesca's. I don't know, I just need to get like maybe some simple jewelry, um, but I need to go take a picture of my outfit so I can like really match it up close. And I just did like some light concealer makeup. I don't know, it looks kind of funky to me. <laughs> I think it's like, cause I don't have any mascara. And then I put my hair up in my favorite claw clip ever. This is like huge but so good. I always lose my claw clips, but this one was like, I want to say $30 or something like that, which is expensive for a claw clip, but it doesn't break. Like you can like run it over with a car. You can like try to bend it in half. It like literally doesn't break. It's insane. Preparation of dosa. <laughs> Put a little sesame oil. And then I typically like to use onion as my as your what? To rub the oil in your pan. I left this on there. Okay. And you can cut, take this off. And I'm going to let it put a little bit of water. Maybe not the best technique, but this is all a mixture of lentils and rice. Some oil on the edge to make it nice and crispy. In the middle. So it becomes brown in the middle, that's when you take it out. You kind of like to check it out. See? Got coconut, peanuts, and sesame seed and oil and, and cilantro. That's a lot of Thank you. I'm with Ryan and we're back at like one of the streets that was like a core 
part of our memories in high school, middle school, all that kind of stuff. We're at the pie shop that I used to work at in high school. I'm gonna see if my old boss is here and also like a slice of pie sounds really good so we might see what they have. So I'm at the pie hole. Like I said, I used to work here in high school and it was the best first job ever. The and best my, boss, right? My, yeah, because yeah, my old boss, she was the best boss. Come, come. Sabrina. Oh. <laughs> And I always try to come back. Well, this is like a really well-known street in Roswell, and I worked on it, so how cool is that? But they have like slices of pies, and you can also Yeah, get what are you guys having? Oh my god, yeah. Stock right now? You might have to get a slice. Yeah, I know. I want that one, I think. Um, and then, also the chicken pot pie is really freaking good. And then they sell like whole pies, right? Yes. Thanksgiving orders coming up, right? They they're are. already happening. Yeah, no, the sign. Yeah, yeah did you saw see it. the sign? Yeah, yeah it's out. You'd be disappointed. She made derby pie for her friends. No one ate it, so oh, I, I, I'd, I'd eat the whole thing. I know. And I was like, darn. I know. Because I think it looked a little funky. No, they're not from the so, south either. They don't really know what derby. Like they don't. They have okay. no idea. Perfect. This is the coconut joy. And what has it got in it? It has a coconut filling, roasted salted almonds, and milk chocolate drizzled on top. Yummy. Mm, yum. <laughs> Going to get some loafers for my Indian outfit. What's my Indian outfit called? I don't really know. I'll have to ask my dad. But where are we going? Nordstrom Rack. And then maybe Marshall's. We don't have anything here. Yeah, let's see what we can find. Look at all these pretty trees. And they're like rainbow. Look how cute. Finding any things? Not bad. I can wear them after too. Yeah. Not bad. It's not horrible. They look like socks from here. <laughs> Ryan. All right, so we're back home. I have you guys zoomed in because I wanted to do a little makeup compilation, but I did my hair with the Beach Waver and it's all fluffy and voluminous. I washed my hair last night. Um, I did bring like a like new shampoo and conditioner just because I had it like travel size. Not love it. Like the feeling of my hair is not amazing right now and I'm wanting to wash it like literally tonight. Um, but I also use this other like air dry cream and maybe it could have been that. Something is just not feeling right. <laughs> I just don't like it. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to get ready. It's currently 5 or 4.30. So we need to like be ready by six cause we want to leave by 6.15 apparently. And I know my dad will probably want to take pictures and I'm going to want to take like a bunch of TikToks. So I got to get ready fast. feels weird because of like the random new products that I was trying but I got these little like gel capsules on Amazon they have like oil in them it's for your hair and I left it at my grandma's when I went to California this summer and my mom like luckily grabbed it and just took it home with her so I finally got them back so I can put it in my hair so you cut them or tear them open and then it's like literally this little capsule and just squeezes out oil honestly sometimes i don't even feel like i need this much but it's fine. i'm just gonna rub it all over my hands like i said it's kind of blonde so i just rub off the excess all over my hands so 
Now, you start at the ends and like you don't wanna put your whole hand and like grab the hair and be like, it's just like too much oil. So I kind of just like do that. <laughs> and like, it will grab on. It smells good, it just like makes your hair shiny. Like feel really nice. I feel like these capsules are way more travel friendly than a whole like hair oil bottle. So I like them for that reason too. I still feel like there's so much oil on my hands. I think I want to recurl my front pieces so they're like a little more curly. Or I feel like the bottom needs to be less curly. So I've just showed this hack before, but all I do is flip my hair over and it creates crazy volume and like loosens the curls a little bit. way over here I want to do like a transition so I told him to wear his American outfit or just like American like sweats or whatever and then we're gonna change here because I want to do like a TikTok transition I feel like it would be really cute if I haven't mentioned this already it is Ryan's first time in an Indian outfit or wearing an Indian outfit and my dad actually took him to Global Mall and they went shopping together how cute is that um and I can't wait to see him he has like a black outfit and a little bit is gold so he'll match me. Uh, You're in Atlanta, shout out. Oh yeah, show the shoes that you just got. slippers. <laughs> he wanted something that he could wear after this party. And then we got this, okay. oh, sorry, sorry, I stepped on the shoe. Hi, how are, how are you? This whole outfit is from the sorry room. Can you scoochie scoochies? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and I actually have another lingo from them. It's so good, the quality's amazing all the details and um i think this top is actually not like with this skirt does that make sense like it's not the same design but it goes i feel like a lot of their tops and skirts like you can miss mix match is that what it's called mix match or mismatch mix mix, mix match <laughs> um mix and they all look really great so i'm excited for the party tonight also excited to eat some indian food what indian food are you most excited to eat tonight 65 again. I don't. Three days in a row. Honestly, I feel like at parties they don't usually have chicken 65. Yeah, uh, just naan and butter chicken. Oh yeah, fried butter chicken. Pollock paneer. I'll take anything honestly at this point. And I always would say that this is my name. <laughs> Sunday. Today we are going to Lake Lanier because my dad recently in the past like few months got a boat and I have yet to see it and I'm so excited but I'm also really sad because I wish it was like warmer weather. I was honestly planning on coming home when it was like warmer just to like go on the boat and swim in the water even though he said it's probably not like the best place to swim but like that's what they say about Lady Bird Lake and I know if you're an Austinite like a true native Austinite you would be like, you're disgusting if you swim in Lady Bird Lake, but I honestly don't freaking care, okay? I've never gotten swimmer's itch. It was always fine, so I will continue to keep swimming, and hopefully nothing ever happens to me, knock on wood. 
is it like three knocks or two knocks? I don't even know. But anyways, I'm still excited to see the boat and see Lake Lanier. He said that Lake Lanier is a little bit more north than where we are, which is Alpharetta. And so the leaves will probably be a lot like more changed and like a lot prettier color. <laughs> Wow. The dog house. Oh, hold on, hold on. Playing on the <laughs> My dad's baby. Other than me. <laughs> right, Daddy? Watch out. Watch out. God bless Ferrari. It's like that boat in Italy we were on. Mm -hmm. Remember the boat in Italy we were on? I don't remember the downstairs really. Yeah, what have you done? This is cool. Oh wow. Docking. I took a fat ass nap on the front on the front. Fat ass. Nice, because it was like right in the sun with all my layers on. I was bacon and I was very content. And then they were like, wake up, we're going to eat, so we're going to Margaritaville. Shirley Temple, it's my weakness. How good does this look? And it has a little fin. How cute. <laughs> from the boat and I don't think we like really expected to stay out that late but it was so so pretty out there and all I can think about is coming back during the summer and actually swimming in the lake and like tubing, jumping off of it and jumping off the boat oh my gosh I love to swim so so much so the fact that I was on a boat and couldn't swim was so sad but still really really great um, but now we're going to dinner I think we're gonna get Thai food I'm not exactly where we're gonna go but we usually go to Thai Emerald did he say it's close today somewhere else in Alfreda. Oh. Guess we'll try a new place. Apparently Thai Emerald was not closed, so I'm excited. This is my favorite Thai place in Roswell. 